lovely palette, mixing palette. I could get some water for that. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I see you've got a very large brush to the table. Always come well prepared. <laughs> There's nothing there. No. There's nothing there in the Which area. colour would you like? Perhaps a crimson. Ivory. Ivory black. Sounds contradictory. Lemon yellow. I'll begin with this. <laughs> Should I put this in a bag in case it leaks? <laughs> A lovely Neptune blue. Neptune? Oh. I want my paint colour to be named Please. after a planet or a god. I'm just going to start now. With no, no further ado. With no further ado? With no Without further ado. Without further ado. <laughs> Without further ado. <laughs> begin. <laughs> can begin with long strokes. Such as you might apply to a golden retriever. I think I'm going to apply these to a different breed of dog. <laughs> I'm not sure you're happy with your first long stroke. Go into another one. What I've got here is a bit of water that I'm going to add to the paint to disperse it a bit. That is looking vibrant, can I tell you now? Going for a bit of an abstract design there? I've gone for a very abstract design, <laughs> Hattie, and you know, I'll tell you for why. I'd love to hear it. <laughs> um, it doesn't really matter. No. It doesn't really matter. You might consider yourself a conceptual artist, but let me tell you now, <laughs> you'll be painting with the Neptune before you know it. Or crimson if you prefer. We're not judgmental here. I must admit, I've copied, I've copied Hattie a bit. See? We just have an interval and show our viewers what we've done. Of course. What a wonderful idea. As you can see, I have elected for some very organic forms. The forms I've elected for are energetic. <laughs> also quite deadly. Quite deadly forms. Yeah, savage. You've gone for some very planetary forms. I I think I was inspired by the Neptune. I think so. Let's take a break. We'll take a short break. I think it's going really well. <laughs> Is it recording now? Yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Now, I think I'll go in with this Edding 500 permanent marker. Cool. Very, very Banksy. Yeah, and if anything, we should all be very Banksy. Banksy is the best. And some of the best things are very obvious and done on a wall in my opinion. Vandalism. Let's think of some new ideas for Banksy now, such as <laughs> writing bad on a five pound note. That would be good. Got any ideas for Banksy? Um, no. Vincent Van Gogh. Back to the Neptune. Van Gogh would have loved that. Van Gogh would have drunk several gallons, if not whatever is larger. I think a gallon is the largest that it goes up to. A cubic field 
of that he would have had, probably. What are you, would you like to talk us through what you're doing? I've done a lovely, lovely orange dot, which you probably can't see from over there. Now, Sam, may I ask you a few questions about this piece? Shoot away, Hattie. If you could see yourself now when you did your foundation, is this what you imagined your degree would entail? Well, I can tell you, Hattie, from the bottom of my heart, the answer is yes. I thought that £27,000 would buy me this level of experience. And it certainly has. I haven't been there. It has down. not gone to waste. I haven't been there now. Carry on working a bit. I would love to. And think about our job prospects. Yes. Remember, that it's a very capitalist notion, productivity. And do you want to be a dirty capitalist? I think not. Oh, you fucked that up. No, that was intentional actually, Sam. And the thing is, when it's this abstract, you can't... <laughs> say that I'm wrong. The artist is never wrong. It's very true. It's very true. I'm going to move back to paint. A very brazen move, moving between the mediums. I'm a very brazen character. My permanent marker, which is actually quite mixed media. Mixed media has a long and well-established heritage, especially in Cornwall. Has it? The best thing about being an artist is you don't know any of anything and you just find out by doing. If anything, I think more artists should be trying to, or claiming to tackle scientific matters and humanitarian matters through art. I certainly love it when I someone has used a scientific concept in their artwork. Artists are, if anything, the most qualified to explore. It. Quite certainly, quite without a doubt. On this, and also stain the table. <laughs> so I'm just going to mop that up. What um, have you drawn there? Hattie? Let me tell you now. Sort of graphic design. And as we know, graphic design is a degree. A great buzzword. I think that is so almost just, entrepreneurial, Hattie. I think it almost is. What I have drawn is a very. <laughs> Abstract figure. Is that a man on fire? <laughs> um, it could be interpreted as a man on fire, Hattie. That's one interpretation of okay. it. Okay. The point is now that there is nothing to get. Anything can be art. Is this a ready-made? That's just what I was going to say, Hattie. Oh. I think it is. You think it is? Let's I mean... find out after the break. <laughs> Bring this back tomorrow. I said I'd bring it back tomorrow. Yeah. That's good. Just there? A bit more? No. <laughs> is this part of it? <laughs> yeah. That's is part it recording now? Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> I mean, I can use my hat, but I don't want it to get paid on. <coughs> I can use my scarf. Oh my god, look at these coordinated <laughs> colours. Sam, have you only bloody brought coordinated colours? Yes, yes, I have only brought coordinated colours. I'm very happy about it. Is this part of it? No, it was nice. <laughs> it's gonna be now. This is part of it. Is this part of it? Could this be? This is love. The question is. Did you get this in Norway? Was this stuff? Yeah, I did. What is and what isn't part of it? You this just can't. Boring. You just can't tell because <laughs> Duchamp <laughs> made the fountain, and that took non-art into art. Anything could be part of it now. Okay, Sam, so perhaps we should begin. Or what would you say to that? <clears throat> I, I think um, ideally we'd have a concept before we start. As, as we're in Falmouth, what about a beautiful beach scene? I, I I'm seeing a lot of agree. marine colours. Perhaps a beautiful sunrise upon the beach. A beautiful sunrise. It is. Okay. <clears throat> this can be the sun. Oh my god, it can! There's many shades of blue. Which is why we will include multiple shades in our collage. We like to be realistic. Yeah, that can be the sun. 
when the sand meets the sea, very poignant moment. Just move that a little bit, get those contrasting shades in, hide the label. Run out of room, but if we just pushed the sea, as I'm sure you know, we have artistic licence to do such a thing. We have artistic licence to do Ooh. anything we please. Sand. It appears a dark <coughs> shadow has formed on the ocean. Could be a rock. Could be a shark. Could be a bad omen. Laura, uh, is there paper towels in here? No, they've... And then perhaps the shining golden sun erupting out of the horizon. Do you know what, Hattie? We are geniuses. Hang on, though, we haven't finished. There's a seagull flying by. Lovely. An answer. enormous silhouette of a seagull or a bat. Could be a very Could be a bat. bat. A huge bat. A gigantic <clears throat> bat. Um, and most of all, have fun, be yourself. Um. There's no rules. The only rule is there's no rules. <laughs> a bit more. Oh, uh, a bit less. Yep, yeah, that's good. Got it in? Mm-hmm. Right. What, what era so did the come in? Um, probably about 900 years ago. A thousand years ago. Why would you say it ago? like that and not say it in the date that it is? Because some of the like, for instance, you have like um, the Viscount Falmouth only became a thing like in the year 1200. I've never heard of Viscounts, they're still on. Viscounts are still on. Okay. Earls are still on, Barons are still yeah, on. Are this, still all of this, this stuff yeah, is okay. still on. Okay. Like, Joy Weber is a, a lord. lord. <laughs> He's a lord! And like, if you're a lord, you're a lord for life. Like, you can't stop being a lord. Lord for life. Lord for life. <laughs> These fingers has an identical, um, I want to say, wart on it. Yeah, no, I feel like they're all the same size. Oh, we'll just, you we'll just get ten of the same size, even though things are obviously different sizes. That's very not so well the, thought the out. Thumb, the thumb troubles. The He's got a special thumb. <laughs> double jointed? No, not double jointed. Who's the girl that did Tomb Raider? Lara Croft. La a Aora. Aki. Aora. Aora. Aki. I don't know what the verb is for painting. Painting. Pin pintura. Soy pintura. Anything can be art. Anything. In other words, art is indeterminate. Nothing determines what is and isn't art. Meaning that this could be art, or more likely it could be shit. But it also could be art, and therefore, give us a degree please. How do you say over all of that? And um, get back into our painting. Yet again, I seem to have gone for a very loose and Green depiction of this. I'm going to do a lovely watercolour wash. A wash? A wash. What, a, what, what is a, called a wash? What a delight to in see. In watercolour speak. Right. I have done a lovely wash primarily <laughs> on the table. Um, okay. I'm just going to mop this up really quickly for you. That would be lovely, Sam. And return to show you my wash. Yes. Paper and we so should just leave paint all over the table because we're artists. And as is our will. Welcome back. Hello. I feel like I've got urge to open the light green. Light green. I've always thought that that acrylic colour is called lime green because it looks like lime green. But apparently it's not. It's light green. Fascinating stuff. Lex lexicon differences. Oh, acrylic. A very sturdy type of paint to all who know it. Acrylic painters must be very bold. Watercolour painters must be tentative and oil colour painters must be very patient. Off their heads. Perhaps. All off their heads. Some would say, to use such a medium in the 21st century, Sam, if you'd like to talk us through your work. What I have written on this lovely, lovely wash is... 
been by nonsense. What a fantastic use of the wash. Personally, I believe it was an ill use of the wash. Oh, I want to talk about it some more because I've got a bit more to do on mine. Okay, what I've got here is a lovely, lovely um, contrast between the um, Neptune blue and the crimson red. I think we should get back to the painting. Back to the painting. <laughs> These fingers are somewhat cumbersome <laughs> upon my normal fingers. <laughs> Because it's a brown, green, and red. Yes, it is. Well, I've added a bit of yellow paint directly to the to the paper, um, which is a technique probably first devised by the um, abstract expressionists. Or, if you don't wish to westernise it, probably I don't know Neolithic peoples. What I've done here is I've folded my painting in half, a technique first devised by adolescent children. And I'm now going to open it up. This type of painting is what's known as a butterfly painting. Mm, Sam, that is incredible. What are you currently working on? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I've been mixing the colours light green and crimson. Here's a I've created brown and it's sort of in the shape of, Sam, what would you say that's the shape of? I'd say that's an, that's an oval, perhaps an almond. The point is, Sam, it's the horseshoe, it's the beginnings <laughs> of a horseshoe crab. <laughs> Thanks. Sam picks up the ivory black and inserts a small squirt into the palette, painting palette, the painter's palette. Sam lightly dabs the brush before putting pen to paper. Sam, what is your experience right now? I just, I just feel like I'm really connecting with the paint and with the with the mouse, really. Sam is connecting with the paint and also the rat. Oh, it's a rat. It's a rat. Well, I feel more connected okay, now. Okay, great. That's great to know. I am looking, and I guess if you're talking about connecting, this is cheating. But what's really cheating and what's not cheating, let's be honest. Okay, the work is finished. The work, but who can say, Sam, if the work is finished? I say. You, yes. The artist can say. And here it is, in all its glory.